When everyone saw this woman's groom, they were horrified at the sight. How could such a beautiful woman end up with a man that was so horrendously deformed? Her husband, Gottfried Bogma, was not what her friends and family expected in the least. They made fun of the couple, thinking their happiness would never last, only to regret their behavior and remarks years later after this happened. Godfrey Bogma was born in Uganda just like every other innocent child entering the world. His mother, family and community around him loved and adored him. Everyone could not get enough of the sweet baby Godfrey was. That is, until he turned 10. What began as a strange growth quickly turned into a facial deformity that continued to grow until the point where Godfrey's face was no longer recognizable as the sweet boy everyone adored. This caused his mother to become disgusted with her child's appearance. She couldn't understand what had caused her beautiful son to be turned into such a monstrous looking thing. She attempted to push through the public ridicule and love her son regardless, but unfortunately she became sour towards him as well. Which caused love to fail in this situation when she abandoned her own child. So she left poor Godfrey to his grandmother to raise. As he grew, so did his deformity worsen to the point where people in his community nicknamed him Sisabi. This loosely translates to worst of the worst. Could you even imagine how that would affect a young person? Unfortunately, the public took the same stance as his mother. His community ostracized poor Godfrey and treated him like a true outcast. Of course, this wasn't fair considering it was completely out of his control. People struggled to even look at him. Some believed that his deformity was the work of witchcraft or something sinister. He was judged severely and even scared some people to the point where he was denied by the society around him. Godfrey was restricted from attending public events with large gatherings. Things like going to the supermarket or even the playground like other young children. Godfrey became increasingly aware that he was different. Simply through the way people behaved around him. He even went so far as to compare his reflection in the mirror to the facial features of those around him. It quickly became apparent that he was very unusually formed. He had to protect himself from others to avoid all sorts of scrutiny that ranged from verbal to physical attacks. His community had begun to know and treat Godfrey as a monster rather than the great person he was. Cast out by the community with only his grandmother for companionship, Godfrey felt alone and distraught. He wanted friends just like any other teenager. Luckily, he found a passion in shoemaking at the mere age of 15. This was the beginning of a life he could never have dreamt of. Empowered by the freedom and power of earning his own money, Godfrey began to feel like he fit in. He started his trade and grew in success over time, which led him to marrying his first wife. Godfrey was over the moon. He had found someone that loved him and saw past his deformity. The community was in an outrage. They said horrible things like it won't last and she doesn't realize what she has done. Godfrey ended up having two beautiful children with this woman, but unfortunately their love was not meant to be. He thought that the vile comments and opinions of the public caused her to turn against him. So she eloped with another man. Of course, this only fueled the public's already sour attitude towards him. They passed comments that they were right and criticized Godfrey publicly for ever believing he could truly be loved. Whilst Godfrey had a passion for shoemaking, it unfortunately was not enough to support his family. He struggled financially to support them. One day his luck changed when he was approached by the gentlemen that claimed they were talent scouts. They were in search of individuals for a particular contest. This contest just happened to be the world's ugliest man. It wasn't an easy decision for Godfrey to make as he had been mocked for his appearance his whole life. He was wary of bringing more attention to himself. But being the determined and positive individual he is, Godfrey entered the competition. He saw it as an opportunity for greatness. To finally show everyone his worth. So the talent scouts took some pictures of him in different poses and submitted them to the competition. A few weeks later, Godfrey discovered that he had won. He couldn't believe his luck. Winning this competition allowed the international spotlight to shine upon Godfrey. This offered him a platform to be successful. For the very first time in his life, he was benefiting from his deformity. The international community received the viral news of Godfrey in a mixed way. Some people commented with support and kindness, while others were just as horrible as the community. But like they say, there is no such thing as bad PR. 
Very soon, companies and businesses from all over the world wanted to get involved. They organized events where they used Godfrey's presence as a lure. Godfrey could meet and interact with amazing people from far and wide, in addition to being remunerated nicely. Not only this was a massive change in lifestyle for him, but it also gave Godfrey a platform to flourish. Little did everyone know how talented he truly was. He experimented with Afro-pop music and soon became a YouTube star. Releasing a multitude of songs on the platform, his following grew with millions of views on his videos. For example, he released a brilliant song called Abagala Sisebabi in 2014. To date, it has over 15 million views, with tons of positive commentary on the video as he features other people that are different. Not only did he dabble with music, but also became a famous Ugandan comedian. So of course, with his rising fame, everyone wanted to be his friend, including those that treated him so horribly growing up. This left them seriously regretting how they had treated him when he was young. Things were going great for the famous Sisibabi, but he was still battling with a few things. Why was he deformed? Was it hereditary? And could he find love again? This is where he really shocked the world. Before Godfrey could find out what his condition was, he met a gorgeous woman by the name of Kate Namanda. She could see past what everyone else saw. She appreciated Godfrey for the talented and brilliant man he was. This rocked the community. People were extremely confused on how he could have attracted such a beautiful woman. They questioned her motive and whether he had gone mad. Surely he had learned his lesson before. Godfrey Bogma's wedding to Kate in 2013 was one of grandeur. It made headlines all over the world. It left those in the community that doubted him regretting that they had ever been so judgmental. He had found love again. Kate and Godfrey went on to have six beautiful children. Their union is one out of a fairy tale. A fairy tale whereas the princess, Kate, could see beyond her prince's deformity, truly loving him for what lay in his heart. However, the question of what made him who he was still bugged Godfrey. He often looked at his small children with extreme concern that when they got older, they would be just like him. So when his health started to decline in 2015, he knew he had to see a doctor. Godfrey was diagnosed with a very rare condition called fibrodysplasia. This explained all his symptoms and his unique appearance. His diagnosis came with some good news too. His children would be unaffected. It was a very happy day for him. He also discovered that with the right treatment, his condition would be manageable, allowing him to live a happy, healthy life. Today, Godfrey Borgma is a celebrity living in luxury with his loving wife and eight beautiful children. He has a mass following of fans and lives every day differently to the next filled with gratitude. What is your favorite part of this story? If anything, I've learned from Godfrey's story not to set limits on your life based on other people's opinions of you. Strive for your dreams no matter what and always look for the silver lining in a situation. Thanks for watching. See you next time.